Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of T-Dog RC. Uh, this is part two of the Seagull Models Extra EA300L build um, or assembly. And uh, in this episode, we are talking about this, which is the cow, um, which is always a, a bit of a hard thing to do. Uh, it's one of those things where you, you know, you've only got one chance to get it right. Uh, so always a little bit nerve wracking, but I've got a technique for doing it, which I'm going to test out and show you. Um, if you enjoy what I'm doing here, then please um, hit the subscribe button and also give me a thumbs up um, by hitting the, the like button. Uh, and if you want to follow along, then if you if you hit the bell icon, then you'll get notified when I bring a new video out. Most of the people that watch are actually subscribers. Um, so it'd be great if some of those of you would hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything to subscribe, but of course it helps me out massively. And if you're into Fixed Wing RC, then this is the channel you want to be following. Right, let's get this on the bench and let's start making some cuts. So, what I need to do is the dreaded bit of mounting the cow, which is never that much fun, really. I don't think it is anyway. Some people might like it, but I find it a bit stressful because it's one of those jobs where, you know, it's a really nicely finished cow. You've got to start drilling holes and cutting into it. Always seems a bit of a nightmare, a bit of a shame. And of course, if you cut it in the wrong place, you're uh, snookered, as we say here in the UK. So, um, I did find a really good way of doing this on YouTube, which I mentioned in the last clip, which I'm gonna show you and try. Uh, one thing that is rather good is I did test fit the cow and obviously as you can see we've got the engine on there and the cow actually slips over uh, actually a tell light I need to just take the needle valve out obviously I'll drill a hole for this but for now we just need to take the needle valve out and then do that again. And the cow actually goes on with the engine in, not without any holes cut for the engine or anything. So that's that's quite encouraging. Uh, obviously, I need to cut a hole here in the side for the top of the cylinder head. Um, a for cooling, B so I can get my uh, glow connector on there. I'm not sure, I'm still deciding yet whether to get an onboard glow system for it, but because you've got such easy access to the glow plug, it's just going to be in the side there. I think I will just use uh, my standard glow heater. It's got a nice big battery on that, so it lasts for a long time. And obviously that will just hook on the side when I start it, and then you take it off once it's running. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's all on there nicely. Now, what I've seen is I've been to uh, a hobby shop, uh, like a craft shop, should I say, in the in the UK, and I bought some of this. I think it's like artist paper. It's kind of thick paper, thin cardboard, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and now, what I've seen is you use something like that, and the theory is. Going to cut a strip of the paper out and fasten it onto here so it goes over the cow and then take the cowl off and then um, cut, cut the holes out in the paper in the right places and then you put the cowl on, overlap it back on and then that should give me the exact, exact position to mark the, uh, the sections where there they are. And then obviously just got to get the Dremel and start cutting it out. So I am just going to do that. Right then, so here's the theory. So I've got my two bits of card and I've made a hole in that one. Uh, now, hold looks slightly uh, crude there, but that doesn't matter because it's more just to mark it. When I come to actually drill the hole in the cowl, it'll be a lot more accurate than, than that. And obviously it's quite hard to cut this card uh, cleanly. So put this over here like that, which is where that's going to go over the, the uh, needle valve. And then we get some tape. And I'm going to, if 
Fasten that down there like that. And then we'll do the same with the cylinder head. Now, with this, I've got, this is really sharp, so I'm hoping that it's gonna go through there okay without sort of tearing into it. Um, but I've used that as my template as well to cut this hole out. And that is gonna stick over there like that. So we know that that's the position where we want that. So we'll just double check this. That's good. Um, I'll just put another piece there. Okay, so if I drill that hole there, that's going to be about spot on, all being well. And then we uh, move these out of the way, put the cowl on, and I've marked where I want the cowl to go. So then I'm just going to get my pencil, I'm just going to do a rough mark at the moment and I'll show you why. And that's going to go like that. Okay, and then I'm just going to get some more tape, just put it over these marks just to make it a bit nicer to cut. And then I'll do a more accurate mark on there. This is just to protect it a bit when I'm cutting it. Whoops. This is just to protect it a bit when I'm cutting it. Okay, let's reposition this. Make sure that's all good there. Make sure that's in position. And once I'm happy, I've got the cow in position about there. That's all looking good. I'm just going to put a couple of bits of tape on that just to stop it moving. Okay, and then we'll go in with the big one. I might get something a bit easier to see. And what I'll do is I'll um I'll find the center of this before I put the hole cutter in. And uh, if I sort of eyeball that, it's looking pretty good. Uh, it's quite hard to see, obviously, exactly, but it's about where, you know, it's pretty accurate where that cylinder head is. It's easier for me to see than it is for you on the camera. Um, so, now, it's just a case of uh, cutting it, which is, of course, a horrible thing. But 
we've got to do it. Okay, I, I'm going to start with this one because there's less damage involved in that one. Right, let's go for it on this one. got my hole cutter for the needle valve which will work really well but unfortunately I haven't got one big enough wide enough for the uh, cylinder head but we'll uh, we'll try this Okay, so that's cut a nice neat hole in there as you can see. So let's see what happens. Oh my God, it's miles out. Only joking, guys. What do you reckon? Not bad. Not bad. I wonder, so this came with it. Yes. So even the little hook thing that the guy put on the engine before He's going to be just right, actually. Perfect. All right, well, that's that one done. So now it's time to move on to the scary one. And I think we're going to do the usual thing of just double checking this before I actually make the cut. Again, difficult to tell, but it's looking okay. So I'll get that uh, marked out, cut it, and then show you the result. Okay, that was a hairy moment, but I'm gonna class that as a success. Nice, uh, clear hole there, pretty much slap bang in the middle. I'll take that. And I've done it a little bit wider as well, just to aid a bit of the cooling, because um, there's no, obviously the air's going to go through here um, at the front, but there's no other vents on this um, for the air to sort of exit out of. Um, so that's why I wanted a slightly wider hole, uh, you know, just to give it a bit of extra uh, movement to get the air out there. So really happy with that. Absolutely spot on. Um, that technique wor worked really well. It was a really old YouTube um, post that I found. Um, it's like a seven years old or something, but certainly uh, we should have seen that before when I've been doing, say, the Tiger Moth, um, where it's just a bit of guesswork on that one. Um, so, yeah, brilliant. They're happy with that. The only challenge I've got now is I've got to get uh, a slot cut out for the exhaust. Um, and this, yeah, I'm not going to be able to use that technique to do this. But basically, um, I have had a look, and the exhaust sort of, um, it almost goes on the cow doors with the exhaust, because, let me just take it off again and show you. Amazingly, the exhaust actually goes into this hole here, um, which is obviously how it's meant to be designed, because they've, they've provisioned a hole here. There's not one on this side. There's one on this side where, where the uh, exhaust is going to go. Um, so it actually goes in that hole there and I've obviously got, I've got to drill a hole here sorry uh, I've got, got to drill a hole here which is uh, fairly straightforward to do uh, and then get one of those sort of silicon extension pipes which will just sit through there um, but when the exhaust is on it, it just hits 
it hits this sort of this part of the cow, but it's quite hard to tell. What I might do, which may or may not work, I might just try putting some masking tape on here, um, fastening the exhaust on, putting some masking tape on there, and then putting loads of Sharpie on there, like kind of saturating it with Sharpie, put the cowl on, and then see where it hits the cow. I think that's the best I can do. And then I've kind of got to uh, cut a slot in there. So let me just have a go at doing that and we'll see, uh, we'll see if that works or not. Okay, so I've got the exhaust on. What my theory is, I'm gonna put a load of felt tip on here, got some masking tape on the end. Okay, and then let's get this towel on. Hmm. That's not really going to work actually, because it but what I can probably do is just sort of mark it. So you can see that there. But obviously the cow's quite way over to the left there. So it's a real tricky one. What I think we're going to have to do is, I think I'm going to have to cut a slot in here basically. Probably quite a big one, which is a shame, but that's what you've got to do when you're using engines. So, I think what we'll do is, I'll get some masking tape on that so I can get it marked up and then draw out a bit of a template. Yeah, so I think, I don't know if you, how well you can see that really, but I think we're going to need like a slot to be cut in there. So um, I'm going to get the hole cutter out and, uh, and get that done. I'll cut two holes, I think, and then I can trim it um, afterwards with a little rotary cutter to sort of square the sides off. So I'm going to get that done and I'll show you the result. Okay, well, I can tell you I am one happy guy because it is done. I've cut the slot in there, silences through, took a bit of dremel in, but it's there. It looks a lot bigger than it kind of needs to be, but it, but it isn't. That's exactly the size it needs to be because I um, uh, went at it very carefully with the dremel. Um, so it's, you know, um, bit by bit. So I know that that's pretty much bang on the right size. You can see down there on that bottom edge, look, it only just comes through there. So really pleased with that. Uh, I probably ought to just try and neaten it up a little bit uh, around these edges, just with a bit of sandpaper there, uh, just to sort of square it up a, a tad, but you're not really, you're never really going to see that because it, obviously it just sits at the bottom of the engine anyway. But the bits that you are going to see, of course, are that, which is very nice. And of course the needle valve there, which again is spot on. So that worked really well, that technique. Uh, yeah, I, I'm really pleased because um, it sounds ridiculous. You know, it's only a model plane, but um, that stresses me out. Um, and it kind of almost puts me off coming in sometimes and, and working on it because you, th you think you've got to tackle that and I want to get that done really before I move on with anything else. So now that's done for me, that's, that's a huge job and I can just crack on through and get this, uh, get this finished now. Um, so I'm going to draw this video to a close there and then next video 
we'll be looking at the tail end, getting all that set up, getting the horizontal and vertical stab uh, set up and getting all the surfaces done actually. Um, so I need to get the ailerons hooked up, get the servos mounting the wings, all that sort of stuff. But anyway, I'll go through all that on the next video. So if you've enjoyed watching this, then please give me a thumbs up, give me a like. 2023 is hopefully going to be the, well, not hopefully, it is going to be the year that I hit a thousand subscribers. So if you're watching this, and I know a lot of people who watch my videos, majority of people that watch the videos aren't subscribers, please hit that subscribe button. It's free, doesn't cost you anything, but it helps me out massively. And uh, you know, the more subscribers I get, the more motivated I am to just keep on doing these videos. Um, so yeah, hope you're enjoying what I'm doing here. And again, happy new year. Although by the time I put this video out, it could be well into Jan. But uh, nevertheless, and uh, I'll see you soon for the next one.